What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and welcome to Myth Busting Part 14. This is the series in which I take your myths from the comments and test them out in Grounded. Only 8% of you watching are actually subscribed. So do me a favor and check that you've hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, you might as well click it. It's completely free and you'll never miss another video ever again. Our first myth today comes in from home and they ask, myth. Can bomb arrows harvest sunken bones? Now, I know that bomb arrows can harvest anything in the game except pond moss, but can they harvest the sunken bones, which are also underwater? I headed to the pond lab and shot a bomb arrow at a koi scale. As you can see, this did indeed allow me to collect it. I tried the same with the sunken bone, and this also worked, meaning this myth is confirmed. You can collect sunken bones and koi scales using bomb arrows. The second myth of today's episode comes in from Preston, and they ask, Myth, can bomb arrows break food? Let's test it out. I shot a few bomb arrows at an apple, and it eventually broke. Next, I tried it on the cookie sandwich, and this also worked. So this myth is confirmed. You can indeed use bomb arrows to harvest the food. Today's next myth comes in from Dragon Fruit, and they ask, Myth, salt and spicy charms can get you cooked meat and jerky. I first punched an aphid with the Char Char Charm, which did indeed cook it. Next, I tried killing an aphid with my club with the Char Char Charm, but this didn't cook the food. So this myth is confirmed, kind of. If you use the charm with your fists, then it will apply the effect. But if you use the charm with any other weapon, it doesn't work and the element on the weapon takes priority. Our next myth today comes in from Roblox is Fun. And they ask, myth, if you recover backpacks, the bags from destroying chests will also respawn at the kid's case. Let's find out. I put a bunch of stuff into some chests and then destroyed them, dropping two small brown bags. I headed to spawn and used the recover backpacks feature, but the bags didn't teleport back. So this myth is busted. You can't transport chests using the recover backpacks feature. The next myth is one I've been dreading doing for a while and comes in from Rusty Shackleford, and they say, Myth, if you cut down all of the dandelions, would the bees only pollinate one? So, I went around the entire grounded map and destroyed every yellow dandelion before blocking them from regrowing using clay foundations. This took me hours, but eventually I had one left at the picnic table. As you can see, when scanning for pollen, there is none to be seen anywhere else on the map. This myth is confirmed. Every bee seemed to be coming over, and when I dropped down, there was loads of pollen. So, if you're trying to farm pollen in Grounded, this is the best way to do it. Today's next myth comes in from Cat's Pimp, and they say, Myth, the wolf spider fakes the third bite in the five bite combo. Let's test it out. I angered a wolf spider and waited for the five bite combo. Eventually, it did it, and I purposefully didn't block on the third bite. As you can see, the wolf spider didn't hit me, so this myth is confirmed. The third bite doesn't actually hit the player. Our next myth today comes in from Sarah Foster, and they ask, Myth, killing a bug with fresh makes the meat last longer. Let's find out. I killed two weevils with fresh and two with regular weapons, and separated them in my inventory. After a while in the game, all of the meats had decayed by the exact same amount, so this myth is busted. Using fresh doesn't make the meat last longer, but it should, because it just makes sense. The next myth today comes in from Andrew, and they say, infected head mounts increase damage to all infected bugs, including the infected wolf spider. It says so in the description. I looked at the descriptions of the trophies and I wasn't able to see this information. So I tested it for myself. First, I killed an infected wolf spider normally and it took two combos and two hits. Next, I activated the infected ladybug head mount and tried again. This time, it only took two full combos. I tried it with the infected weevil mount for good measure and this also worked. I checked the description of the buff and it does say increases damage to all infected creatures. So this myth is confirmed. The infected head mounts do work against the infected wolf spider as well as every other infected enemy. Sharks has sent in today's next myth and they ask, Myth, if you spawn in the mantis and kill it and reload and kill it again, you get different loot. Let's find out. I killed the mantis and I got one head, two claws and nine chunks. 
I reloaded my save and killed the mantis again and got one head, two claws and seven chunks. This means this myth is confirmed. The loot does change, meaning in theory you should be able to reload to get both the trinket and the gold card from the mantis so that you don't have to make 373 mantis kebabs like I did to get the trinket. Our next myth today has been sent in by Bomb Blood, and they say myth. Mysterious stranger can activate on passive mobs. Let's check it out. I was randomly walking around punching weevils for a while, but then on my last hit of killing a weevil, I did get it to activate. The man didn't spawn in, but that's because I killed the weevil, so this myth is confirmed. You can get the man to spawn in when hitting passive creatures. Next up, we have a myth from Tomantar, who asks, Myth, throwing harmless projectiles like heal bassers will make a neutral bug angry. Let's give it a go. I made some heal bassers and threw them at a ladybug. This made the ladybug angry, even though I was just trying to heal him. So, this myth is confirmed. For some reason, throwing a heal basser at a neutral enemy makes it angry. The next myth today was sent in by Ben Dover. Good one. And they say, myth. If you use the repair tool in the Coltana defense on the Coltana, it will repair it. Time to find out. I started the defense and then waited for the lava to do damage to the Coltana. I tried to repair it, but it wouldn't let me. I tried killing all the ladybird lava before trying to repair it again, but it still didn't work. So this myth is busted. You cannot repair the Coltana during the defense, just like the mixers. Our next myth today was sent in by that Nick guy. And they ask, myth, you swim faster with nothing equipped in your hands. Let's give it a go. I headed to the pond and first swam from one side to the other with nothing in my hands, which took me 32 seconds. I did the exact same thing with the club of the mother demon in my hands, and it also took me 32 seconds. So this myth is busted. You swim at the same speed, regardless of what is in your hands. Next, we have a myth from the meme man bird, and they say myth. If you switch tufts midair, the tuft will disappear in game. Let's find out. I jumped from a ramp and equipped a different tuft. As you can see, this caused the tuft to go completely invisible. So this myth is confirmed. Switching tufts midair causes it to go invisible for some reason. The final myth in today's episode comes in from Oscar. And they ask, myth. Water enemies aren't immune to parry poison. Last episode, we found out that poison weapons don't work on enemies underwater. But can we poison them using parry poison? I found a diving bell spider and perfect blocked his attack with my widow armor equipped. This did actually give him parry poison, causing him to take damage. So this myth is confirmed. Parry poison does work underwater, even though the poison weapons don't. Thanks so much for watching, as always. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. As always, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next Grounded video.